Hi, Alan Stratton from Aswood Turns. One thing that I appreciated while living in Oregon was the local wood turning clubs, and I got quite involved, and I appreciated what they brought to me and how I was able to learn from them. Now that I'm in Utah, I'm getting used to new clubs. One of the features of all, both sets of clubs, is the President's Challenge where they challenge you to bring in an item from a recent demonstration or one of their choice. So, club challenge to make a small hollow form vessel. This is the one that I made the tools for, so let's make this small hollow form for the club challenge. To start with, I'm mounting this piece of Atlas cedar between centers. I'm roughing with a large bull gouge. Once it is mostly round, I'm switching to a half inch skew for skew practice. Then I'm cutting a tenon for use for remounting it for hollowing. A simple gauge ensures I don't overcut the tenon. With the wood securely mounted in the chuck, I can shape the exterior form starting with my gouge. Then over to a skew. I like the cut from the skew better because it is a smoother finish. A skew is also handy because I can use it as a scraper without switching tools. Then move away the tailstock and prepare to drill a depth hole for the vase. After the hole is finished, I'm enlarging it with a small spindle gouge. Not too aggressive because I want to keep the center hole small. Then start hollowing with my new small straight hollowing tool. Soon the top portion is hollow enough to reach in with the bent tool to get inside the neck of the vase. I'm using a short length of scrap copper electrical wire bent into a C-shape to gauge the wall thickness. It's not perfect, but it works. Then back to more hollowing. Not much to see on the video at this stage, so I'll speed up the camera. Time to sand the exterior. The hole is too small for anyone's finger to get into, so I will not attempt to sand the inside. Yep, even for a wood turner, the hole is too small. Next, a couple of accent rings. I'm cutting a shallow groove with a skew, then burn in the line using a piece of countertop laminate before continuing to sand. Next, I'm applying some shellac friction polish. After parting off the vase, I'll pour some shellac into the interior to seal the insides. For the base, I'm using my wooden chuck jaws, just a little tape to protect the vase. I'm using my skew covered by a piece of laminate to push against the wood to center the vase in the wooden chuck. A plain skew would have worked just as well. Then, with the vase in the wooden jaws, I'm finishing the base of the vase. With the vase still in the chuck, I'm taking a short break to sign the bottom. Then I'll remount it for just a touch of fine sanding to smooth the burn edges. A little buffing finishes the vase. 
My new tools work fine for this size, but not any bigger. It may not be the biggest hollow form, but it's a cute little vase. It's a keeper. We'll see you again next week with another wood turning video. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and tell your friends. Always wear your full face shield. Goggles are not enough. Then keep on turning. Until next time, this is Alan Stratton from As Wood Turns.